Yo, this is it on the place. Grandia 2. Zera is in running. He knows that we are about to defeat Valmar. But he sends his body parts after us one by one. We fought off the tongue of Valmar with Millennia and back in our team. She is back. And for the first time ever, Millennia and Elena in the same freaking team. How awesome is that? I think it's ridiculously great. Speaking of which, with your tongue of Valmar beaten, you can go back and save the game if you want to. Just take this one. You go back to the beginning. You can save the game. You can also recover if you want to. Remember, there's no turning back from here. There's no other enemies to beat. There's just the mini bosses and the last boss. Let's just continue. I don't know which part of the body of Valmar we are in now. I'm guessing we are in the head of Valmar now. Or, I don't know, somewhere on the stomach. Regardless of that, though, we are ready to move on with the next body part of Valmar that is being sent to us from that lousy scumbag Zera. Let us go for the next boss fight. Let me hear what boss this is going to be. You know, I told you last episode, but... It's going to be Return of the Eye of Valmar. The eye bits are back. They're ready to haunt us. And that means the Eye of Valmar makes its grand return as the second of three body parts to fight. See, the IBs are really quick, but to see the health level, they're actually pretty not that bad. They have about 20,000 health each, which is kind of crazy. They will be annoying, but then again, they're not that dangerous. Let's go with Sky Dragon Slash right away. Sworn enemies, you shall be defeated! Take that! Sky Dragon Slash! Got seven targets to hit. That's a lot of damage we just dealt there. For Millennium, we could probably do Fallen Wings, but I uh, we'll probably still want to use Spellbinding Eye on Valmar's Eye itself. Ouch! Dr. Burst, this is gonna hurt. Ouch! Not that much. 1100 is fine. Comes Spellbinding Eye on the Eye of Valmar. Make sure it stop doing any attacks on us so we can proceed to kill it off. Kinda evil and cruel, but that's the way how we want to do it. There we go. Only now the Ibis could be able to do some action, so that's fine with us. Our health level is fine, so I'm just gonna unleash power onto our enemy with a wider combo. Oh, tainted ones. Return to the world of darkness. How much damage this one does? It's like the Valmar can remove. Oh, bigger damage. Okay, Ryu though, are you ready for your next turn? I hope it still have a lot of health. So there's, there's no reason to focus on them. I mean, every single part in this fight has 20,000 health. If you really struggle, okay, go for one of the eyeball bits to restore, remove their delta storm. But again, if you're struggling with these body parts, you won't have a chance against the last boss, even though the last boss is not really hard. But it still can be tough. It's much tougher than these ones. Let's go with flying 10 seconds on Valmar's eye. Sky, take flight! Here goes! Flying 10 seconds! Good damage. That's just free from being attacks on us. Millennia! We have a grudging claw! Valmar's eye is about to die. So let's do grudging claw. Fresh ground hamburger. <laughs> I love when she says that. This one looks so evil as well. Look at that. Look now. Poof. Four thousand. Very good. Now, Millennia were the one to be allowed to give the final blow to the Eye of Almar last time. Why don't we have Elena? Do the last blow this time. Let's send the darkness away. Right, a couple. 
Oh, Let's finish off this body part of Valmar right away. Return to the world of darkness. Oh yes, you will. Boom! And the Eye of Valmar sees the Reaper. How ironic is that? I think it's pretty ironic. And just like that, we win! Gotta work even harder! We got the things there as well. Get there. Scarlet Potion, Nico Potion, Potion of a Sure Queen Heals. Lella for all, our one. That was another body part of Valmar down. We still have one more to face, which we're gonna do right away. Just double check if you have anything to, to upgrade, which we're gonna do on, on uh, Millennia. No, Millennia has everything maxed out of her spell, of her own abilities, which is pretty nice. Can't max out Droplets of Life yet because it's cost too much. That's fine though. Let's see, let's just power up the egg for uh, Ryu though. Now it's powered up as well. Everyone's eggs is powered up. Probably would have used the dragon egg if I learned it quicker, but yeah, probably next time if I do uh, if I have where to play with Gana 2 again, I probably would have just saved a lot of magic coins till I get the dragon egg and spam dragon egg to get all the moves up again. Get everything like this up again. I mean, it takes too long. I mean, I have 58. I still need 32 more levels to get everything to max. That's gonna cost me like 20,000 for even more magic coins. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. So just beat a boss battle and just going to go back and heal. We prepare for the final body part of Valmar before the last boss of this game. So it feels pretty really weird though that Elena and Millennia is on the same team and this is the first time ever. Because usually in this game you either play as either Millennia or Elena. You don't play as both. It's like to have either one or the other. But since now, for some reason, Elena finally learned how to get Millennia to become real. And now she released Millennia out of herself. And that's a good thing for us. But now, we have to focus. Because we're gonna go for the next body part of Valmar. A body part we haven't really fought for very long ago, actually. But still, it's gonna be interesting to fight. We got some new, uh, we got some new footwear. The Queen heals. Plus movement and plus act reduces IP slowing. So we're gonna redu reduce our defense. We're gonna become faster. Not a bad thing. Probably give this to Elena to be honest, because Elena, even though she's good attack resist and I think the Queen Hills is better for her. Let's give Elena more act. We also got the Starlight Tayara, which we got from the first of the two bosses we got. We don't even need this Muna Tiara actually, because we can just cut empty consumption completely. Or even give it to, to her. Reduce defense by one, but reduce MP cost as well. I think we're going to use more s magical spells with... Um, with millennia. So let's just do that. There we go. And when you're ready, step through and let's go for the next body part of Valmar. There it is. It's the return of the Heart of Valmar. This time without the eye bits though. Okay, so it still has the left eye, right eye and the Valmar's heart. Just like with other bosses, you don't really need to focus on the eyes, just focus on Valmar's heart itself. So it's fine, 10 seconds, right away. Sky, take flight! Here goes! Flying Tensei Ken! Good damage. Now this part of Valmar has a bit more health than the other one. This one has 27,000, which is the same as Valmar's tongue. Let's find out. Spellbinding Eye? I mean, why not? 
make it, it easier if you didn't do it, but that will be cheating, right? And the buildings are there to be used. Let's just use it. Spellbinding Eye. It's gonna hit. Our developer will be paralyzed. Can't do anything for uh, quite a while. Alina, what do you want to do? Let's send Valmar back to darkness itself. Oh, tainted ones. Return to the world of darkness. Yes, let's do that. I hope really hope the Tion Rowan is doing well. Good damage. 5,000 on everyone. Look at that. I feel so sad. I can't do anything. Oh well, I'm just gonna abuse it. Sky, take flight. Let's keep on doing the damage. Here goes, flying Tensei Ken. Good damage there, really nice. Then as next, let's use a meteor strike onto Valmar's heart. So playful, she's so funny. And she just pulled a freaking comet from the world. From outside the world even. A crash land on the heart of Valmar. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of splattering. Oh 4009, pretty good. Lena, you wanna do some damage too? See the power of ice, if that's gonna help. Maybe chill down this heart. Stop that! Here comes the crackling. Ice falls and crash lands. How much damage that one will do? Ah, uh, nothing. Okay, so the heart of Elmar is apparently immune to ice damage. That was a bit unfortunate. Oh well. Sky, take it's flight. It's about to die, anyways. Still not a flying ten second. Here goes! Flying Tensei Ken! If we get to kill it before even doing a single move. Look at that. Poor thing. Should Millennia get the uh, honor this time? Let's test out Heal Crush. Let's see how it does. Bet you'd like this, you pig! Ha! <laughs> I like that. She just stomps them with her heels, reducing all stats by one. Oh, I guess to attack you, Strem! Wow, I'm so, so worried. Now, I won't have Ryudo to finish this off, so let's just attack the Lina. Ryudo! Let us finish this. Let us give it a Sky Dragon Slash the honor. We heal itself, that is fine. 2000 is gonna help enemies. it. You shall be defeated! Sorry about that. Take that! Come to Sky Dragon Slash! Sky Dragon Slash! And it's dead. Get some more items. Heart of Valmar perishes for the second time. This time, though, there's no one there to absorb it because we don't want to absorb it, we just want to kill it off. <laughs> These guys were no real Yeah, we challenge. just beat the Heart of Valmar without taking damage, guys. Very hard boss. Yeah. Oh, well, Millennia is going to go 57 as well. Pretty cool. That means we are done with the mini bosses. Coming up is the last boss of the game. Haha. <laughs> Let's check out the 10 madras we just got though. Plus 72 defense, level 2 resistance. It's pretty good though. Let's give that to Millennia. We are even more tanky than she already is from before. But 
Before we do that, though, we have to go and recover to be ready. This was where we fought the Heart of Elmar. We go to where we fought the Eye. We go to the Tongue. This is where we fought the Eye. We go to where we fought the Tongue. One more back should give us to where we are gonna save our game. Which of course I'll do. Just to be sure, you never know. But anyways, the next fight is the last fight in the game. Zera, you're next. How's that for say? Yes. So coming up guys, in the next episode is gonna be the season finale of Grandia 2. We're gonna fight the evil incarnation of Velmar itself. And it's gonna be represented by the man who spoke for Granis. And instead, it's gonna be the ones who will become evil and want to kill us all. But this time, we won't be stopped. Next episode, season finale, versus Zera Valmar. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's commit for now. So I see you guys next time as my story of Grandia 2 continues for one more episode, the season finale.